Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon. We are talking about the movies, obviously. The theme parks, merchandise, and I don't know, whatever the case may be. Whatever is related to Disney, then there's a good chance I'll be talking about it. So, this again is going to be another short news video again, because I got some, some nonsense to talk about. It's just so bizarre when you think about it. So, of course, it involves the church and the outrage again. This goes way back as far back as 2007, I believe. Some, well, at least somewhere around that time, anyway. After the Walt Disney Company had announced that, yes, they're going to be continuing the whole gay day thing. And you, you, you realize where this is going. To be more specific, they want to do something uh, in the selling of its themed wedding packages to the same-sex couples. But, of course, the religious right, of course, have been really angry about it because America continues to side towards the abyss, according to these people. And, and oh no, God, please help us. You know, it says one individual. This individual is named Rick, by the way. And, uh, yeah, he, he said that as a response to, like, a threat of the Mickey Mouse uh, commitment to sin, apparently. So, this is in uh, Orlando, where he mentions that the Walt Disney Company has decided to open his fairy tale weddings. And to which he says, I didn't make this up. You know, he, he would say angrily, two same sex couples. And of course, not, uh, not standing with good hearts and family values because the parent gays can't uh, have that. And now gay people can legally get married in Florida. Well, again, I'm talking about Florida. Oh, Christ, man. It's, it's again with Florida. I mean, I know not everyone is there is evil, but there's a prick bastard, but I'm, I'm just saying. So a lot of this nonsense seems to be coming from there. I don't know if it's the water or something, but okay, it's light rant over, mm. but w whatever. I don't know. It just seems bizarre to me if you ask me, but I mean, what? You, you've been smoking, sniffing that fumes from burking way too much again from that chimney? Is, is that what's going on? I want to say yes, because this, this entire thing, you're just completely asinine. This what bothers you? Of all the things. This bothers you. Okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. whatever. I, I prefer Wendy's anyway, so... Yeah, I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. Okay, anyway, like I was trying to say is that... So, okay. According to this smuck, apparently Disney, uh, which of course has the gay days, of course, and, uh, and they're allowing gay people to get married... At the theme parks, that's like a, that's like a double whammy there. And um, but apparently, according to this, this smuck, like I was saying, Disney does not care about if it deeply offends the values of the customers. What? Uh, pandering to some radical group of people that seems to be more important than caring for a loving, wholesome family. So, of course, oh, this entire thing is just complete lies, obviously. And it's also gaslighting when you think about it. But anyway, like we're saying, this individual continues to talk and says that people, when you say people and people like him, are in the uh, uh, in a hostile business kind of thing. And the parks are going to be opened for everyone. But, yeah, the... Of course, this this guy is serious enough that the Disney people who work on there, a spokesman from there, has stated that the, oh, this will be open for everyone. The fact that one of the people who walks there says that this parks, any theme parks, should be open for in, for everyone, that also deeply bothered him. This Rick guy, that, that also bothered him. That bothered him as, as well that this theme park, that one of the people who works there, the one of the chairman, I guess, Say that it should be for everyone, regardless of background or sexual orientation or whatever gender you identify as. It should be open for everyone, and somehow that's offensive. That right there is offensive. It seems like a uh, tribalistic, if that's a proper word, which it is when you think about it. But anyway, continuing on is that so this Rick and this, yeah, this uh, this just of course, this co of course got some tension from the. American Family Association uh, individual, this 
president of that thing named Tim. He says that uh, such inclusiveness is why families must be warned about this what? about this takeover, and people should be instantly taking their families to Disney World or Disney theme parks, whichever one. And you're walking down the park, like in the in the little roads or whatever you call them. And here comes this pride of any attendees that includes two men have gone just married at Disney Ward. He, you know, he says that's mm -hmm. something that's taking a conversation before you would um, go to Disney. To Disney, now you, that's the other, he was trying to warn them to not go there. Seriously, though, how miserable do you have to be if this bothers you? I mean, really, to not take into precaution if you should rather go or not go to Disneyland this summer because the theme park, or I should say the studios, yeah. the the corporate company is siding with the gays. It, this bothers you? It, it really bothers you that this seeing a happy couple holding hands? It, it's not your business. Why are you going into their lives? They're not coming to you. You're going to them. But you're acting as if they're going to you. It doesn't... What? I always find it funny that it's people like this going, going into your business. And if you say something back, they act like they're the victim. I always find that really hilarious. Who cares? They're not bothering nobody. Like, at all. So, I, I don't know. I don't get any of this, like, at all. Tim over here, uh, his, his statement about this, of course, was viewed as a threat. Because, uh, yes, of course, he wanted people to uh, put him as boycott uh, the theme parks, of course. Yes, mm -hmm. obviously, there was like an incident back in 1996. Yeah, 2096, which was joined by the Southern Baptist Convention, which lasted annually until 2005. So, it, which, of course, a lot of the, a lot of the leaders of the... Southern Baptist and had pretty much trying to vote in that people should not go to the Disney parks. So I'm trying to get a, a big number of people to, uh, of course, get together because Disney is anti-Christian and anti-family for teaming up with the gay people, mm -hmm. which of course is moronic. So of course this also will include the film, the company's movies and theme parks. And of course, along with the television network ABC for doing the same thing. So yeah, this lasted for quite a while. There's a little protest, but still, it just feels like nothing has changed, like like at all. All right, folks. Yeah, that'll be it for now. So, of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah.